So in the most recent update, you would have all probably seen that the snipers have had a pretty big shift in the meta. In today's video, I'm going to be running through some of the alternative weapons, snipers, that you can be using after the most recent update, instead of what you're probably used to. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing to the channel. I post here every single day, and I always try and give you guys the best possible videos, tips, classes, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, hit that sub button. Whenever we hit 80k, we're doing a 5,000 core point giveaway. So to enter, subscribe and comment below saying you want to enter. Without further ado, we're going to be getting on to some of these snipers that I really recommend you guys giving a go after the most recent update. And the first one is going to be the ZRG 20mm. This is a Cold War sniper and it's actually very underrated and it has actually been very good and kind of gone under the radar for a very long time. Okay, so the first attachment you guys want on this weapon is going to be the muzzle, which is the wrapped suppressor, increasing the bullet velocity and the range, and it also increases the recoil control and sound suppression, but they don't really matter too much. You then want to use the combat recon barrel. This is going to increase the bullet velocity once again. Bullet velocity on snipers basically make it so it's more accurate at longer range because the bullet is going to travel faster and therefore you don't have to lead your shots as much as normal. So in Warzone, whenever you snipe, you obviously have to lead your shots a little bit in front of the enemy so it actually hits them because there's obviously the time it takes to travel but bullet velocity is going to make the bullet travel quicker and it's going to hit the enemy quicker and therefore you don't have to lead the bullet in front of the enemy as much as normal so it just makes it more accurate and easier to hit your shots the next attachment is the 5 milliwatt laser increasing the ads time aiming stability it's very important to have that increased ads time so you can be straight on target as fast as possible and then we have serpent wrap increasing the ads time as well and then the five round magazine that is the full loadout let's get straight onto the next sniper all right so for the next sniper we have the pellington which is once again a very good sniper and it has been for quite a long time but a lot of people are sleeping on this uh, but definitely after the most recent update I can definitely see a lot more people are going to start using this. So the attachments again are pretty similar to the previous weapon. You want the wrap suppressor once again for the bullet velocity and range. And I just want to quickly mention as well, if you wanted to, you could actually use the sound suppressor on any of these Cold War snipers. So the ZRG and I'm going to be talking about another Cold War sniper later on in the video. For any of these snipers, I would, I personally like to use the wrap suppressor, but a lot of people use the sound moderator instead, and the reason for this is because it increases the ADS time and the sprint to fire time, so basically it's just going to make the weapon a lot more quick. It's up to you though, you can either use the sound moderator for the increased ADS time and sprint to fire time, so you can quickly get your shots on target a little bit quicker, or you can use the wrap suppressor which is going to be a little bit more accurate and you're going to have that increased bullet velocity and range. So it's up to you what you use. Uh, it's either or for any of the Cold War snipers I mentioned. You can use any of them. Next up we're going to be using the combat recon again. Then the 7 round magazine. Then the 5 milliwatt laser again for the increased ADS time. Serpent wrap again for the increased ADS time. And that right there is the full loadout. If you guys wanted to. You could change the optic because I know a lot of people don't really like the optic on the Cold War Sniper. So if you wanted to, you could get rid of the Serpent Wrap. And for the optic, there's a couple of decent options. Royal and Cross 6 times is a pretty good one. Hangman RF is also a pretty good optic. So next up, we have the HDR, which I haven't seen anyone use in literally years. This used to be the best sniper whenever uh, Warzone like first came out everyone used this sniper and i really feel like it's going to make a little bit of a comeback in this new update because it's just going to give more people a chance to try out these different snipers because everyone is always using the swiss and the car but after this update people are going to be able to experiment a little bit with these different ones and the hdr might just make them return so the first attachment you want on this is going to be the monolithic suppressor which increases the sound suppression and the damage range and then you want the pro barrel which is going to increase the damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. Then the tack laser, which is going to increase the ABS speed and the aiming stability, aim walking steadiness, all of that good stuff. And then the next attachment is going to be 
the Stalker Scout, which increases the ADS speed, so you can just aim down sight a little bit quicker. And then the seven round magazine, or if you wanted to, you could stick on a different optic. It's up to you, but that is the full loadout. Let's get straight on to the next one. Okay, so for the next weapon, we have the AX50, which is another weapon I haven't seen anyone use in such a long time. But honestly, I feel like this is going to make a return as well. It's a very good sniper, and it has pretty decent ADS as well. The HDR has a little bit of a slower ADS, so it's going to be good for those longer range snipes. But the AX50 is, it has a little bit of a faster ADS, so you're going to be able to use it. At those medium range snipes just like you would with the car 98k etc it's going to be the monolithic suppressor once again increasing the damage range and suppression and then you want the factory barrel on this is just going to increase the recoil control bullet velocity and the damage range so make sure to stick that on and then the tack laser for the increased ads again and then you want the stippled grip tape which increases the ads time and the sprint fire time making you be able to just ready up quicker in those gunfights and quickly get your shot on target and then you want the Assassin stock, which is going to increase the ADS again. Pretty nice loadout. Honestly, I'm pretty happy to see a weapon like this make a return. Make sure to give it a go. So it's going to be the Tundra. This is another Cold War sniper, and it feels honestly very, very good right now. Then once again, for the muzzle, like I mentioned earlier, you can use the Rap Suppressor or the Sound Moderator. Sound Moderator is for mobility, ADS speed, sprint to fire time. Wrap Suppressor is for the recoil control, accuracy, and the range. It's up to you. Pick whatever you want. Next up, we're going to be going for the Combat Recon. Once again, the 5 minute laser for the ADS again. And then the rear grip is going to be the Serpent Wrap once again. Yeah, you guys have probably guessed it. The 7 round mag is next. And obviously, like I said before, you can change uh, the optic if you want to. And swap it out with maybe the magazine or the Serpent Wrap. But yeah, that is it for the video. Make sure to try these out and if I did miss any sniper that maybe you've been trying after the most recent update that you think is pretty good, let me know and I might just try it out and make a video on it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out.